Hello and welcome to day 13 of our October Pilates challenge. Getting a little deeper into those core muscles and thinking more specifically about how we move the arms and legs, connecting that back into the core muscles in that very specific Pilates approach. Go ahead and lay all the way down into your workout space, taking a moment to feel the length of the spine, right? So we're reaching outwards through the tailbone. We're going for that neutral pelvis position. So neither tucked or arched, but long. And then feeling that lift all the way up across the spine, widening through the shoulders and drawing the chin slightly down. So you're going for length in the back of the neck. Now from there, let's relax to those arms, starting to feel some stretch across the front of the chest, allowing the shoulder blades to be wide and relaxed. And then finding our Pilates breath, we're going to inhale through the nose, thinking about breathing towards the back of the body. And then we exhale out of the mouth, expelling the lungs and wrapping the waist. And let's go ahead and inhale, feeling that breath slightly press in towards the floor. And then exhale, widening through the chest as you scoop the abs and ribs in. One more time like that. Inhale, breathing towards the back of the body. And a nice deep exhale, expel the lungs. Now keeping that sense of the low belt of your core muscles wrapping towards your center to stabilize the pelvis, float the right leg off the floor. And then lengthening that leg back down. Now scoop those abs and ribs in and see if you can float the left leg off the floor, keeping the hip stable and lower down. Now taking that an intentional step forward, again, keeping the pelvis stable, the pelvis isn't gonna move. I want you to think of drawing the abs in, scoop the abs in to lift that leg. And then lowering down and scoop the belly in to lift the left leg and lower down as if we could completely relax and open up the space across those front pockets through the hip flexors, right? And feel this connection to the abs instead. Let's try that one more time. So hips stay nice and connected and stable and inhale, right leg lifts from the core and then exhale as you lower down and then scooping through the abs as you lift your left leg and lowering down. Now, take that same concept into the upper body, right? Subtle, really subtle. But within this, right, the upper part of your core are your lats, your latimus dorsus. Think of sliding your shoulder blades down the back. It immediately opens up some space across the top of the shoulder and the neck, drawing that chin down, right? Going for that stretch in the upper spine. And then let's draw the ribs towards your center, much like a crunch action. Feeling that strength in the ribs without rolling the shoulders forward so that it doesn't collapse the chest but you feel those counterpoints, right? Opening through the chest as you draw the ribs together. So really finding length and space across the front of the body. Now that same action, draw those ribs in wide shoulders as you float the right arm off the floor. So the shoulder doesn't do that lift, right? The shoulder stays pulled down the back and then place down. And then scooping those abs in wide chest as you lift your left leg off the floor. So for me, I think I, I like feeling a sense of scoop under to activate that lat, right? That may be helpful. And release down. And let's reverse that. And inhale, right arm, feeling that reach out. And release down so the chest stays open, the shoulders stay wide. And now lifting that left arm. And release down, right? It's easy to do this as a movement and not really get into the work. So think of internally focusing, where is that firing from? Sliding those shoulders down, drawing those ribs in and refining how we approach the lift of that arm, sliding the shoulder blade down the back, allowing the chest and the neck to stay long and then release. And then reaching for that shoulder as you lift the left arm and release. Now connecting that a bit more, scoop those abs in, float the right leg up from the core. Now keep it there and now keep those abs engaged as you float the left leg up, 
right? So you can feel how the abdominal muscles engage to lift those legs. And we're not tipping through the pelvis, right? We're trying to keep that pelvic position, keeping those abs pulled in, keeping the ribs drawn tight. And then feeling those ribs activate even more to curl the upper body off the floor. Right, so you draw on the ribs down like a teeter-totter. The ribs go down so the chest can lift. And that way we can have all this length and space around the neck and the chest. Now, keeping that, so all this support coming from those core muscles, as you extend your right leg out, lengthening across the hip and reach the left arm, shoulder working down the back. And then deep exhale as you pull it back in, right? Challenging that stability. So we're gonna reach to that left leg, opening through the hip, drawing the core into the floor as you reach your right arm, shoulder sliding down the back. And then exhale in. And we get into a fun exercise called dying bug. And inhale, right um, leg and left arm, slide the shoulder down, draw the belly in. And exhale in. And inhale, left leg and right arm. So we're always going in off position. Draw the ribs in tight. And exhale in, scooping the waistline. One more full set. Inhale as you reach. Draw the belly button into the floor. And exhale in, long spine. And inhale, reach. And exhale it in. Good, relax. Hug those knees into your chest. All right, so feeling how you can intentionally create more connection and focus to the core for every single one of our movements. It's one of those fun elements that makes Pilates Pilates, right? So bringing everything back into the core to stabilize you first, to feel the alignment and to feel that support for whether you're lifting your finger, your arm, your leg, anything. Hands come to those knees. Let's gently circle those knees around, massage the lower back for a moment. Three and two and one, and then reversing that for three, and two, and one. And now getting ready for our hundreds, nice gigantic large breaths, but adding that intentional concept in, right? How does every part of that movement and positioning come from the core? So let's feel that out, because again, you have options, right? So placing those feet as far from you as you comfortably can, and have the foot flat, opening across the pockets, drawing those abs and ribs in, feeling that support and link through the lower back. And then from the rib cage, reaching through those arms, nice long open chest, reaching through the shoulders using your lats. Or option two, floating those legs up from the core muscles, or not from tucking the pelvis, right? From the core into tabletop. Or option three, legs go long, wrap the heels to get the toes apart, little turnout so you can turn on those inner thighs a little bit more. You choose the one that's best for your body today. Deepen the abs, squeeze those legs together, slide the shoulders down the back. And now we pump those arms with breath. We get inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale through the nose and exhale out of the mouth. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Really huge breath, then inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Reach those shoulders, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Wrap that waistline, and one more. Two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Reach those legs down long as the arms lengthen overhead. Take a moment to lengthen across your space, reach. And then relax. And then wiggle the fingers and the toes. And circle those wrists and ankles for three and two and one. And then reverse that for three and two and one. And let's prepare for roll up. So that nice spinal stretch. So legs come together and you always have the option of softening the knees, just getting a little bend in those knees to relax around the hips and the lower back, or leg straight, right? You get to choose. So within that, find all the parts of your core. So we get those inner thighs, abs scooping in and up, ribs drawn together, and then feeling out those shoulders, right? Slide them down away from the ears, and now let's stretch out that spine. Hands float to the ceiling, chin to chest. Inhale as you round it up, 
and then exhale long and forward, keeping those shoulders still working down away from those ears. Inhale as you round it back down, rolling through the body, and exhale. And again, inhale as you round it up, try to roll through the center line, and exhale into that stretch. Feel that length across the back of the neck. Inhale as you round it back down, squeezing those legs together, scoop the belly in, and exhale. And inhale as you round it up, lifting through that waistline, and exhale into that stretch. And inhale as you round it back down, scooping the ribs in towards you, and exhale. We get two more. Inhale as you lift up and away from those hips. And exhale into that stretch, sliding those shoulders down. Inhale as you round it back down, rolling through the back, rounding through the spine. And exhale. And one last time, inhale as you round it up. And exhale forward. And inhale as you round back down, rolling through the body. And exhale. Fantastic. Go ahead and draw those legs up, bringing them into your chest. Hands go behind your head. Last little exercise for our sequence today is going into crisscross. So getting every abdominal muscle strong and activated by creating that bicycle twist. So we're drawing the right knee in, the left leg high, wherever that feels comfortable for the hip socket, right? Wrapping the waistline. Curl up through center so you feel those ribs strong and active. And then keep the elbows wide so that we're not turning the neck, but twist to the torso so you can draw your left shoulder towards your right knee. And now let's switch sides as we twist and twist and exhale and in, hale and exhale. Now put that intention behind how you bend the knee in towards you from your core. Right, and same thing here as you twist the ribs up. Right, how that's also from the core. And one more full breath and exhale, relax. Right, so we start refining how we do each of those details in a way that all comes back into your core muscles and that way making each exercise more efficient. Right, so you'll notice in Pilates, we usually do a rep of three for certain things, mainly large twists five or 10, 10 max, right? You're never doing a hundred sit-ups. You're doing maybe 10 really beautiful formed ab focused at movements, right? So that you can get more efficiency out of it, that you're not wearing the body down, but you're invigorating and creating that support and ease through the joints and through the movement. Awesome job you guys today. If you wanna do any additional exercises or stretches now, you're welcome to. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.